Hi guys, welcome to my study compass. In this video, I'll be walking you through the past paper, Math P1, variant 2, February March 2018. Let's get started. Write 2 over 5 as a percentage. To write 2 over 5 as a percentage, we simply multiply 2 over 5 by 100%. This gives us 40%. Write these numbers in order, starting with the smallest. To be able to compare the numbers, we convert them to a percentage by multiplying each number by 100%. The smallest percentage is 54.5%, which is 54 1 over 2%. Followed by 54.55%, which is 6 over 11. Followed by 55%, which is 0 0.55. We eat more ice cream as the temperature rises. What type of correlation is this? Since the amount of ice cream we eat increases as the temperature also increases, then this type of correlation is positive. The probability that it rains tomorrow is 0.35. Work out the probability that it does not rain tomorrow. The sum of the probabilities that it rains tomorrow and does not rain tomorrow must add up to 1. So to get the probability that it does not rain tomorrow, we subtract 0.35 from 1, which gives us 0.65. Write 0.0000523 in standard form. To write this number in standard form, we move the decimal point to a position after the first non-zero digit, which is 5. Since we move the decimal point 5 units to the right, we multiply 5.23 by 10 raised to the power negative 5. Write 6.8167, correct to three significant figures. The third significant figure is 1. The number after 1, which is 6, is greater than 5. So we add 1 to 1, giving us 2. The numbers after 1 become 0. Since these zeros come after the decimal point, they are insignificant. So we have 6.82, rounded to three significant figures. The diagram shows a regular pentagon in a kite. Complete the following statements. The regular pentagon has blank lines of symmetry. A line of symmetry is a line that splits a shape into two mirror halves. Regular pentagons have five lines of symmetry. The kite has rotational symmetry of order blank. The order of rotational symmetry of a shape is the number of times the shape looks exactly like the original when it's rotated through 360 degrees. When a kite is rotated, it only looks like the original after it is rotated 360 degrees. So its order of rotational symmetry is 1. Divide 120 in the ratio 1 is to 2. To get the first part of the ratio, we divide 1 by the total ratio of 1 plus 2, which is 3, and multiply by 120, which gives us 40. Then for the second part of the ratio, we divide 2 by the total ratio of 1 plus 2, which is 3, and multiply by 120, which gives us 80. So we have 40 is to 80. Calculate cube root of negative 4.3 times 6.7 squared and write down all the figures shown on your calculator. When we type the given expression into the calculator, this is what we get. Write your answer to part A correct to 4 decimal places. The fourth number after the decimal point is 2. The number after 2, which is 6, is greater than 5. So we add 1 to 2, giving us 3. The numbers after 2 become 0. Since these zeros come after the decimal point, they are insignificant. So we have negative 5.7793, rounded to 4 decimal places. Insert one pair of brackets in each of the following to make the statements correct. To make this correct, we put a pair of brackets around 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1 is 9, so 5 plus 3 times 9 gives us 32. 
To make this correct, we put a pair of brackets around 4 minus 7. 4 minus 7 is negative 3. So 3 times 2 minus negative 3 gives us 9. Find an estimate for the area of the shape drawn on this 1 cm square grid. We can start by counting the number of complete or almost complete squares in the shape, which we get to be 24. We can count the set of small squares at the top, bottom and sides of the shape as 1 cm squared. So in total, we have 28 cm squared. Find the value of square root of 25 squared. When we square the square root of any number, we get the same number. So in this case, we have 25. You can type square root of 25 squared into your calculator to confirm. Simplify x raised to the power 5 all squared. The powers of x multiply, so we have x raised to the power 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10, so we have x raised to the power 10. Find the lowest common multiple of 28 and 35. First, we write 28 and 35 as a product of their prime factors. Then we map their prime factors onto a Venn diagram. The product of the elements in the Venn diagram gives us the LCM, so we have 2 times 2 times 7 times 5 which is equal to 140. Factorize completely. 6d squared e minus 9e squared. The terms have a common factor of 3e. When we factor out 3e, we are left with 2d squared minus 3e. The length L meters of a garden is 78.5 meters correct to the nearest half meter. Complete the statement about the value of L. To correct the length L to the nearest half meter, we have 78.5 meters. Then we bring in plus and minus 0.5 meters. Then we divide 0.5 meters by 2. The lower bound of L is 78.5 minus 0.5 over 2 meters, which is equal to 78.25 meters. The upper bound of L is 78.5 plus 0.5 over 2 meters, which is equal to 78.75 meters. So we have L is greater than and equal to 78.25 and less than 78.75. Neelam hires a machine to clean carpets. It costs $25 to hire the machine for the first day and $9 for each extra day after the first day. Neelam pays a total of $88 to hire the machine. Work out the total number of days she hires the machine for. We see that Neelam pays a total of $88 which is greater than $25. This means she hires the machine for more than one day. So $88 equals the amount she paid for the first day, which is $25, plus the amount she paid for the remaining days, which is $9 times X. When we subtract 25 from both sides, this is what we get. And when we divide both sides by 9, we get x equals 7. This means she hired the machine for 7 extra days. So the total number of days is 1 plus 7, which is equal to 8. Dev makes 600 cakes. 18% of the 600 cakes go to a hotel and 2 over 3 of the 600 cakes go to a supermarket. Calculate how many cakes he has left. To get this number, we subtract 18% of 600 and we also subtract 2 thirds of 600 from 600. When we type this into the calculator, we get 92. Thomas borrows $5,000 for 3 years at a rate of 2.5% per year compound interest. He pays back the whole amount with interest at the end of 3 years. Calculate the total amount of money he pays back at the end of the 3 years. In this case, we need to apply the compound interest formula. 
Big A represents the final amount of money he pays back, which is what we are finding. Small A represents the amount he borrowed, which is $5,000. R is the annual rate, which is 2.5%. And T is the time duration in years, which is 3. When we type this into the calculator, we get $5,384.45 rounded to the nearest cent. Without using your calculator, work out 7 over 8 plus 1 over 6. You must show all your working and give your answer as a mixed number in its simplest form. The LCM of 8 and 6 is 24. For 7 over 8, since we multiply the denominator, which is 8, by 3 to get the LCM, we also need to multiply the numerator by 3. So 7 times 3 gives us 21. For 1 over 6, since we multiply the denominator, which is 6, by 4 to get the LCM, we also need to multiply the numerator by 4. So 1 times 4 gives us 4. So now 21 plus 4 gives us 25. 25 over 24 is an improper fraction, so we need to convert it into a mixed fraction. 24 goes into 25 one time with a remainder of 1, which we divide by 24, so we have 1, 1 over 24. Complete the statements. A equals blank because blank. These two are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are equal, so A is 63. B equals blank because blank. The sum of the angles in this triangle must add up to 180 degrees. So we have B plus 58 plus 63 equals 180. When we make B the subject, we get B equals 59 degrees. In the space below, draw a circle with diameter 7 cm. First, we get the radius of the circle by dividing 7 cm by 2, giving us 3.5 cm. So now we measure the width of our compass to be 3.5 cm, stand at any point and construct a circle. On your diagram, draw a chord. On the diagram, we've drawn a chord which is simply a line that connects any two points on the circumference of the circle. Note that this line should not pass the center of the circle because then it becomes the diameter. Show that the circumference of the circle is 21.99 cm correct to two decimal places. Here is the formula for the circumference of a circle. The radius r of the circle is 3.5 cm. When we type this into the calculator, this is what we get, which is approximately 21.99 cm rounded to two decimal places. On the internet, Prane sees a grey jacket for 165 euros and a blue jacket for $180. Work out which jacket is the cheapest and by how many rupees. To be able to compare the costs of the two jackets, we can use the exchange rates to convert both costs to rupees. So for the grey jacket, we want to find the equivalent cost in rupees for 165 euros, which is what we are calling x. When we cross multiply and make x the subject, this is what we get, which is equal to 12,548.25 rupees. For the blue jacket, we want to find the equivalent cost in rupees. For $180, which is what we are calling y. When we cross multiply and make y the subject, this is what we get, which is equal to 11,842.11 rupees rounded to two decimal places. Looking at the cost in rupees for both jackets, we see that the blue jacket is the cheapest. To get the difference in the costs, we have 12,548.25 rupees minus 11,842.11 rupees, which is equal to 706.14 rupees. 
calculate AC. To get AC, we apply the Pythagoras theorem to the given right angled triangle. This gives us AC squared equals AB squared plus BC squared. AB is 1.6 meters and BC is 2.8 meters. When we plug in these values into the equation and make AC the subject, this is what we get, which is equal to 3.22 meters rounded to three significant figures. Calculate the size of angle BAC. To get this angle, we apply Sokatoa to the triangle. This gives us tan of angle BAC equals 2.8 meters divided by 1.6 meters. When we make angle BAC the subject, this is what we get. When we type this into the calculator, we get 60.3 degrees rounded to one decimal place. In this question, use a straight edge and compasses only and show all your construction arcs. Construct the perpendicular bisector of PQ. With our pair of compasses, we stand at point P, open the compass to a width that is more than half of PQ and inscribe a set of arcs above and below PQ. Using the same compass width, we stand at point Q and inscribe another set of arcs above and below PQ. When we are done, we use a ruler to draw a straight line passing through the intersection point of the arcs. Construct the bisector of angle ABC. With our pair of compasses, we stand at point B and inscribe an arc for angle ABC. Then standing at this point, we open our compass to a wider width and inscribe an arc. Using the same compass width, we stand at this point and inscribe another arc. When we are done, we use a ruler to draw a straight line from point B that passes through the intersection point of the arcs. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. See you in the next video. Bye guys.